We have this beautiful beef tenderloin and a cryovac to take off our casing here. And you want to make sure when you cut this, you want to go down the seams a little bit not piercing the meat. Always put your knife, not on your cutting board. And so you want to go down a little bit. Breaking up that cryovac. Now one trick is, is all the juices you don't want. So you want to lay that in this little pocket here. And then you want to get a bunch of paper towels. Okay. Because what so we want to do, we, we want to make sure that this is completely patted down and dry. All this, even on your cutting board, you want to make sure that this is as dry as possible. If you have a kitchen towel, it's even better. Some bounty paper towels does a trick. So we're going to move this over just a little bit and clean up the cutting board. Now. Bear with me, I'm using two cutting boards because I don't have a cutting board that is the exact same size of this <coughs> beef tenderloin. All right, so what we want to do really, so you got three different parts of this. You got your head, you got your chop. We want, don't want to chop into the meat because that, that's the good stuff. All right, so we're going to go through here. So right here, you have your, your chain. Now some people can use this for a roast beef or um, some ground, you got a um, ground beef, you know, you, you can use it that way, but other than that, I'm just gonna discard it. So same with this, just like a little, some more fat here, just gonna trim around. And then really, you just want to grab into your head here, put your finger down in there, your thumb, and just separate. And when you're separating it, you see these big chunks of fat that you want to pull apart. You don't necessarily need a knife for this, just usually with your hand. Well, what that's exposing is this membrane here, and this is what is called a silver skin. And the silver skin is completely unedible. So we want to get in there as much as possible. This is a definitely a fattier piece. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna separate our head. So we're gonna go through here with our finger. We're just gonna go through, pushing it down. It's a little cold here. So what we're gonna do right here. There we go. I'm gonna separate this over. Like I said, a lot of this you can just do with your hand. But now we wanna kind of square it up. Now, this part, this is your head part. So this is really actually really good. Um, we can trim this up here in a little bit, but this is definitely usable. 100%. So what I'm going to do here, and there's still some fatty tissue here that I want to get rid of. Over there, unusable. Your 
silver skin right. here. Let's get the core of that meat out here. We're gonna kind of nip into that. Get that out. Pull across. So with your silver skin, you want to start kind of at the top, All right? So you just want to go down and get underneath the meat as much as possible. And just make a little incision there. Now what we're gonna do is almost like filleting a fish. All right, so what we're gonna do is almost like fillet a fish. So we're gonna use our knife. We're gonna put the back side of the board. We're gonna grab this part and flex your blade down just like you're filleting a fish. You wanna get the best yield out. And so now you can pull your silver skin. And that's not a bad yield. That's not a bad, that's not bad at all. That, so silver skin is completely unedible, but now you've got your, your part of your, your tender that's separated from the main membrane. And from here, really, you can flip it over and then start trimming up some of those fatty parts here. Like I said, there's a lot of fat contained in the beef tenderloin. So you want to get as much as possible because it doesn't really add flavor. So a lot of times with, with steak, you want to look at that Fat has flavor, but this actually is connected to the, the rib of the, the animal. And it's not the same. So again, I want to go here. And sometimes you can just use your back of your knife, depending on just how the preference is, how you wanted it. And again, you can ask a lot of butchers out there. They'll sit there and they'll, they'll hack this thing all to hell. I'm not going to do that. Cause I just want it to be squared up and nice and neat. Make sure the silver skin's out. This is a part of the silver skin here. But when you hack in the meat so much, you got cut marks and it's just not, it's not pretty. Here. All right, so from there, there are top portion here. So you get the pan down good. a little bit. See all the see all the fat that we we've, we've taken off. So this is a 7.5 pound tenderloin, and easily just by the trimming of the silver skin fat, the uh, the chine bone or the chain bone, we've uh, reduced this probably at least by four pounds. So, all right, that's a good looking fillet. What we want to do here is we want to start portioning out. So I'm just going to cut off probably from this end here, and depending on how big you want your steak. Now I'm going to go about inch, inch and a half, or in, uh, inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Do that. Now you want to make a long cut string because you don't want hack marks in it. Again, using your and here, fillet. Fillet. Beautiful. We're getting in front of the center cut here. And again, you just kind of want to Massage it down. Mmm, this is gonna make some good steak, guys. Now go about right here. Now out of this, you probably get. Let's see what we. We can yield here out of the, all this uh, extra, see, right there, that's a good, 
portion of a silver screen you can see. Move that down. And then bring your knife up through the. Again, you don't want to chop into the the money meat. This is very expensive meat. As much as possible. But you want to make sure. So you're separating all this through right here. And thank the Nathan Chalk for uh, lending me, or actually his mom, lending, <laughs> lending the boning knife. Which, is it working okay? It is working great. I appreciate it. So, so far, I don't have a boning knife in my collection or a fillet knife. It be both ways. All right, so that's not too bad. So I'm going to cut off ends. I'm going to cut it right there. Yeah, and I'm going to put that in the grind. Go over, square it up. Make sure you tuck your digits in there. You don't want to lose a digit by making good steak. Because that would be bad. Trim that up just a hair. And again, just sometimes you got to get your fingers in there. So with this, I'm going to cut this in half. I one one shrink stroke, I and then really sharp, right? so make sure sharp, sharp. just kind of with your other guiding hand, put that down. That'll make another fillet. This is got some tissue in it, but again, just gonna roll it down, and there you go. So out of this, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.